I'd like to see the application for the protective order. And then I'd mm, like to see the police report if you have it. Sort of no, I don't want everything. I want to see the application for a protective order and I want to see the police report. Thank you. There were no witnesses. What are you doing here? There, there was a witness. Um, I didn't say anything about no, the no, witness. No, no, no. There were no witnesses. No, because I did a supplemental after. But oh, it's show because, me the supplemental. Just no, a minute. No, because she, they show threatened the, us. Just they a threatened. second. Show me the supplemental. I, they, it was just ready. a second. I can't help you. This police report says that they interviewed you. You believed it was Rosie's family. I did. I'm say I'm, I'm talking. OK. You believe it was Rosie's family mm. because you were dating the same guy or was involved with a guy and that they noticed that there were windows damaged in your apartment complex. There were not any other witnesses at the time of this incident. That comes from you. I didn't say anything about it because when her mom, they left, she said that if I tell about their names that they're going to hurt me. So then that's when I got Let me explain it. something to you. Let me explain why I don't <laughs> believe you and why I don't believe you were there. Miss Luna, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. But I was there, yeah. so... And all I'm going to need from you is a statement that you made to the police because she did, in fact, name Rosie to the police. She said it was Rosie's family. She said the victim saw multiple subjects. She did not see who exactly damaged the residence. The I victim saw I'm speaking. The victim stated she believes it was Rosemary Mendez. That's you. Yes. Right? So you named her. But at the same time, you said there were no other witnesses. That's what you said. So it's yeah. not that you were afraid to name her. <laughs> you named her. But I didn't name everyone else because I was okay. scared. Yeah, OK. Listen, I don't like to be lied to. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. If you didn't lie to me by producing a witness who wasn't there, I would have given you the money for your windows. She was... should listen to me. Well, either you lied to the police or you're lying to me. Which mm -hmm. who were you lying to? I lied to the cops you because lied, I didn't well, want. Then how am I supposed to I tell even the difference? A... Then how am I supposed to tell the difference of telling the truth and telling a lie? After do you understand? Mm -hmm. After do you understand yes. what I'm saying to mm -hmm. you? After I got the restraining order, that's when I when I went back to the cops and told them. But some men, I even have a video. Where is it? Do you have a video of her? You can see her with the bat in her hand. And you can see Someone. her mom and her cousin. You can hear the voice in the video. I don't think you should be here. It's not the right place for you to be. You started out by telling me you're here because the other witness was in jail. <laughs> That's what you no, told well, me. Yeah, she was, she was older, so I was going to... Just a second. You can... <laughs> I came because the other witness was in jail. What you told the police was, was there the was... I... To come. Shh. But she told the police was there were no witnesses, although she actually mentioned first and last name of the person who she thought was the perpetrator. She has a perfect case. And she's got a protective order for how many years? Three. Three years against the defendant. Perfect case. What she had to bring you here for, I don't know. Okay. Sit down. <laughs> I'd like to see the video. Are you her mother? Yes. Were you there that night? Am I going to see you there? No. Oh, please. It's that video. It's because I don't want to push play and then it's already starting. Right. That's, That's a second, video yeah. of what the neighbor got. 